King Herod heard of it because Jesus's name had become known. And some people were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead and that's why these powers are at work in him. But others said, no, it's Elijah. And still others said, it's a prophet, like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. Because Herod himself had sent men and arrested John and bound him and put him in prison. On account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, whom he had married. And John had been saying, it is not right for you to marry your brother's wife. And so Herodias had a grudge against John and she wanted to kill him, but she couldn't because Herod feared John knowing that he was a holy and righteous man. And so he protected him. He was very puzzled when he heard him and yet he liked to listen to him. But an opportunity came when on his birthday, Herod gave a banquet for his officers and his courtiers and the leading men of Galilee. And when his daughter, Herodias, came in and, and danced for them, wow, she pleased Herod and his guests. And Herod said to her, Ask me for whatever you want, and I'll give it to you. And he solemnly swore, whatever you ask, I'll give to you, even up to half my kingdom. Well, the girl went out and she said to her mother, oh, what should I ask for? And her mother said, the head of John the Baptist. And so immediately the girl came back in and she said to Herod, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. Well, Herod was deeply grieved, but because of his oaths and his guests he didn't want to refuse her and so immediately he sent orders to the officer of the guard to bring John's head and he went and beheaded him in the prison and he brought the head back on a platter and gave it to the girl And the girl gave it to her mother. When John's disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. 